Let's take a look at viewport navigation using these buttons in the bottom right corner. First, we'll make sure that our view is active by right-clicking it. Now let's start with the Zoom tool. Dragging in the viewport zooms in and out of the view and that view alone. You may notice that the position of the Zoom tool inside the viewport is irrelevant, as the zoom in and out is always based on the center of the viewport. This is not very practical. It would be so much better if we zoomed in relation to the position of the cursor in the view. You can make this possible by going to the Customize menu and in Preferences under the Viewports tab, turn on these two options for zooming about the mouse point in both isometric and perspective views. When we zoom again, notice that zooming in and out is a lot more practical now because it's always around the cursor. You can also use the mouse wheel to zoom, but then the zoom is incremented and not as smooth as the zoom tool itself. However, if you don't want to select the zoom tool from the navigation buttons, you can still use it by pressing Ctrl Alt and dragging the mouse wheel in the viewport. The next navigation tool is pretty straightforward. It's called Zoom All and zooms in and out of the four viewports simultaneously instead of just the active one. Next is Zoom Extents, which frames all the geometry in the scene to the extent of the viewport. So whether you're zoomed in or far out, clicking that icon will frame the scene in the viewport. Notice the little black mark in the bottom right corner of the button. This indicates a flyout showing more options. The white box in this case is the Zoom Extents we have just seen, and the green box is called Zoom Extents Selected. This means that if you have one or more objects selected, the Zoom Extends command will only frame the selection and disregard the rest of the scene. The next button is Zoom Extends All, which works like Zoom Extends but on all four viewports simultaneously. You can also press Z to frame objects in the viewport. Pressing Z frames only selected objects in the viewport or frames all objects when none are selected. This is a very quick way to get closer to an object you need to work on. The second row of navigation tools start with either Field of View or Zoom Region, depending on which type of view is selected. When you switch to an isometric view, such as the front view, you can use Zoom Region to define an area which becomes the next display. When a perspective view is selected, Field of View lets you adjust the amount of the scene that is visible in the viewport and the amount of perspective flare. Be careful not to overuse Field of View, as it can create undesirable distortions. If you wish to undo a zoom or any navigation adjustments, you can press Shift-Z. The next tool is the Pan tool to push or scroll the view left, right, up or down. But it is much easier to pan the view by dragging with the middle mouse button. Now let's look at orbiting around the scene. Orbiting lets you rotate around objects, so it makes sense to use it in the perspective view. When you enable an orbit option, a circular gizmo appears. By placing the cursor on the top or bottom quadrant points, you can rotate around a vertical orbit. If you place the cursor on the left or right points, you can rotate around a horizontal orbit. By placing the cursor inside the yellow circle, you can orbit freely around the scene. Be careful, for if you place the cursor outside the circle, you'd be tilting the view, and that may not be the effect you're aiming for. To dismiss the gizmo, you can right-click or press Escape. The Orbit Flyout has three options which let you choose different centers of rotation. The first option lets you orbit around the center of the view. This can be useful, but if objects are near the edges of the viewport, they might rotate out of the view. The second option lets you orbit around a selected object. Notice how the object is the base of the rotation and never moves out of sight. This can be the most useful orbit option. The final option is for object subselections, and we'll skip that for now. You don't need to use the circular gizmo. The quickest way to orbit is to use the keyboard shortcut. Begin by selecting the orbit option you prefer. 
Then right-click in the viewport to dismiss the gizmo. You only need to do this once. Now press Alt and drag with the middle mouse button in the viewport. This shortcut picks up the orbit option you selected, even though the gizmo is not active. Finally, you can use the Minimize Maximize toggle to take any active viewport and maximize it to fill the screen. Another click and you're back in the regular layout. You can also maximize and minimize the viewport by pressing Alt-W.